Today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber, oh. and they sent over this carbon fiber card holder. Check that out. You can hold up to seven cards as well as cash. Very sleek, very amazing design. It's so easy to grab this and leave the house. Perfect addition if you are a carbon fiber addict. They also sent over a forged carbon version. For all you forged carbon fiber lovers, this is a must have. Head over to the website now. They have a huge Black Friday sale going on from November 5th until the 25th. Use my link in the description below to have the discount code applied at checkout. You can save up to 70% off the whole website. So what are you doing? If you like carbon fiber, check out all of their accessories because they're made from real carbon fiber. Now let's get back to today's video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you once again for tuning in. We're back with another video and yes, I will be announcing the giveaway winners. Just watch till the end of the video and we got a new sponsor. Isn't that crazy? This company reached out to me and I feel like we can build a potential partnership that I would genuinely enjoy because there are things that I could even have for my Supra in the future. Still have the Supra, still need a car cover. It rained and I'm pretty sure water got into my car. That's gonna suck. On the bright side, I have Danny over at Culture Auto Spa. He's gonna bring this car back to life when the time comes. Yeah, we got a sponsor guys and it is right here. Our sponsor is Street Arrow. If you guys have not heard of Street Arrow, they make a lot of parts. They make front splitters, side skirts, you name it. Whatever you need, they could probably make it for you. They originally hit me up for side skirts for my car, but unfortunately, I think I've told you guys before in a previous video, my side skirts don't have a bottom to mount anything on. So with these side skirts, they're full fiberglass from Black Pearl. There's literally nothing. Like when we put in our underglow, I had to put it really high up so it's not even like, there's really, there's like no bottom. So unfortunately they couldn't make me side skirts. They really wanted to make me side skirts and have like my name engraved on the side or something, right? I really wanted to work with them. They really wanted to work with me. And they were like, we have one part that could actually go on your car. So they sent it over. So, so sick. I guess I'm on the team now, which is kind of cool. They sent this. What is this? Oh, that is awesome. This is probably the material that they use for their side skirts. That's awesome. Welcome to the Street Arrow team with my name on there. They normally use people's Instagram handles, but I mean, my Instagram handle is my name. So I think they just decided to put my name, which is amazing. Really great quality and they, they do laser engraved. Their whole process is awesome. This is freaking great. Thank you guys so much. So this is what it feels like to get a trophy, huh? Let's see the actual part they sent. I did get a little bit eager and I installed one of them because I wanted to try to learn it myself hands on before I show you guys, if you guys did want to try it someday. One of them was going to be missing, but we got one right here. Very, very professional. We got decals, everything. Yeah, we got ourselves a street arrow racing harness. Well, two of them, but I just have one right here because one of them's already on the car. Oh, that is so sick. Super sick. It says street arrow. This is a five point harness, but I am only going to run four and I'll tell you guys why later, but it comes with everything. That's so sick. Look at this guys, attention to detail. Spin that shit. That's so sick. I have not had a sponsor that I've been really hyped on for a while and this is amazing. And I know you guys are gonna be like, why are you gonna run racing harnesses? It's gonna rice out your car even more. And it's not like it was my plan to ever get these. I personally didn't want them on this car, but they reached out to me and their design was really cool, very sleek. There's also some red ones, but I didn't want it to be too loud. I wanted black and gray, goes well with this. Why not run it for a bit? I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. If it ever does become a hassle, cause I'm not gonna track this car, then I'll remove them and put them on the Supra. Cause the Supra for sure needs a roll cam. Cage. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. This car is from 1990. It was the first year they made airbags and they're not the best so there aren't airbags everywhere. I'm deleting my steering wheel for sure so there's gonna be no airbag for me and then there's gonna be a passenger airbag and that's it. So this car for sure needs a roll cage and a harness just to make sure that it's safety regulated and if I get into an accident in that car I'll still be alive you know. A lot of you guys have asked me why don't I run harnesses because I have a roll cage and the RCF seats have the little vents where you could stick them through. You see how the seats here have these, we can stick a harness through it. The only thing is, I don't know if a lot of people know this, there's like a little grill piece in there. 
that's what's preventing us from being able to stick it through. And a lot of people think that you have to cut this, but I actually found out firsthand that that comes off. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Oop, that's how it looks. I'm gonna go over with you guys step by step how I figured out how to do it on my own. There's many ways you can do it. It's all personal preference, but I did it to how I wanted to do it and it works. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First things first, unfortunately, this doesn't fit through and we're gonna have to undo this. And I'll show you guys how I tie it once it's on the car. Since you get the black, it comes with this red pull tab right here. If you would have gone red, it would have came with black, but I think this is awesome. It's like that little accent because you know I already like black and red and this is awesome. That's why I think it fits so perfectly with the build. Should adjust this and see if it works. So what I also like to do is instead of having this hang down past the clip, I tied it up with the rubber band that they provided and I think it looks way more sleek. So it'll just clip in, it won't be dangling. If we do need to adjust it, we can adjust it from the back or I can undo this rubber band and adjust it. But I only have one passenger and I'm gonna adjust it to how she likes to wear it, which is a little bit tighter than what I would wear myself. And like I said, I already pulled off the other side. I need to take this off because I need to shove this rope through the vents in my seat. I have to remove the vents and these vents are three pieces. One piece here, one piece here, and one piece that holds them together in the back. So these two will clip into that third piece. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break it because there's like no real right way to remove these because they're not supposed to come out. The seats are supposed to already come assembled with this in it. and. I'm just gonna full send and break them. So nothing a little super glue can't fix. And I usually only break one tab when I remove them anyways. Nope, same thing. Broke this side too, fuck it. And there you have it. If I wanna take out these little vents, there's literally a slot right there and two slots here, but you can't see this. I gotta take that piece out and it just takes it right off. You just use a flat head and it comes right off. I'm over here thinking I had to cut these, but I saw that and I was like, oh, cool. So that's how people run these OEM Lexus seats with a harness. All right, so once you have it out, it should look like this. And that's what it looks like. They're like little hockey pucks. Now we can run that through that vent and the other vent. All right, guys, so I super glued these tabs back on, waiting for them to dry. We're gonna go ahead and put on the side harnesses. So the ones that are technically supposed to go from here and from here, I don't necessarily want to delete my OEM seatbelt, so we're gonna put that down. We're gonna shove one of these through here, one of these through here. Normally in a race car, I guess you're supposed to bolt it into the chassis, but I'm not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is have this one go around, this one go around, and they're gonna clip into each other and they're gonna be held in by the seat, which I think is still just as sturdy because this seat is not going anywhere. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but apparently, Racing harnesses expire. This one expires next year in June, so around my birthday. I did some research and I found out that they expire because these are actually racing regulated, so that means you can take them to the track. They're definitely certified. And the reason why there's an expiration date is because harnesses over time get wear and tear, whether it's from the sun or from just using it and it getting more play, whatever it may be, it expires, which is kind of cool because, you know, it's up to safety regulation. So it does suck that you do have to replace them, but that just goes to show that they are safety regulated and you can take them to the track as long as they're not expired. That was a little fun fact that I didn't know about. I'm sure some of you guys already knew that. I did it. You learn something new every day even if you don't race your car. All right, so we have the bottom. It's in there's 30, and I think this is really good. Not going anywhere. We're gonna grab this strap, and we're going to put it through this. Super simple. And now we have this one, which is gonna be for this side, but I'm also gonna have to run it through here as well. Having a roll cage is great. Just can't use my back seats. We're just kind of mocking it up right now. All right. All right. Ow, fuck. <laughs> all right guys, so this is what I do. It's all personal preference, but get one of these. In, over, under, and I'm going to probably have it as tight as I can. The cool thing about my roll cage is I have one of these, so I can just clip this in. 
I don't really need to tie it to the roll cage, which is nice. So it's cool that I have this available for a harness if I wanted to install one, which is what we're doing. Go in and over around it. This might take a bit because I need to adjust it anyways. It's safe to say this should be a good spot. And I will go back through the original piece that I went through first, go in and go over and under again. And then if you want to lock this in place, I think what you're supposed to do, or at least what I would do is, since it's already like this and it looks pretty secure, probably isn't, you'd wanna go over and back through this again and pull. So right back through here. And that's how you make sure it's super secure and locked. Very, very solid. And now I just gotta do it to this side. And once I do it to this side, they'll be clipped into the roll cage and I can just go ahead and go to the front and see what needs to be adjusted. And that's pretty much it. So what I did to the other side was it's clipped here, right? But I have it going down into my seat. So it gives it a little more cleaner look than just having this dangle. I know some people like to have it dangle or they like to roll it up. I think this is more convenient for me. If I ever need to switch it out, just pull this out, take this off and that's it. All right, so I'm really glad that I did this on the driver's side before I got to do it on the passenger because your boy got it first try without many adjustments. So I'm pretty hyped. Easy peasy, clips right in, and then one, two, and that's it. Pull on these, make sure it's secure, and I'm going nowhere. Like, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, this is solid. All you do to remove it is you spin this shit. And that is it. There's actually a bottom one that goes from your groin into this harness, but that's for real bucket seats. I don't have a hole in my seat and I don't wanna drill a fat hole into my seat just to get it to go through because that bottom strap is really short. So it's meant for real bucket seats like Sparco, Bride. It's finally done. Everything tucked in perfectly looks great. There it is, wow looks amazing huge thank you to street arrow you guys absolutely killed it so i guess that means i officially have a race car hey. so we went to go watch black panther and there was a black lexus lc 500 in it god it just makes me want that car so bad that's my dream car we never address the situation with the seatbelt because if we run these right the seatbelt is going to blink we got a solution for that boys this right here Clip this in, seatbelt disabled. I have them for both, and now you can run these without the seatbelt going off. So now we're gonna go and do a little test drive, see how everything feels like strapped in. I mean, I, I hope it works. I'm not gonna get in a car accident or anything just to show you guys how safe it is and how great it works, but I'll definitely take some turns going, you know, like 25, 30 miles an hour and see if it just holds us in place. Cause I have bucket seats, right, sort of have the little bolsters on the side so I think that will definitely help us stay a little more secure let's see if this works uh, ready to strap in babe ready. all right <laughs> she's not going anywhere I'm kidnapping her <laughs> just sent me one you know since like I mainly drive the car but we're thankful enough for them to send us a whole set because these are pretty expensive as a pair so now you're protected too yeah sometimes you know there's gonna be those mornings where you don't want to have to deal with putting this on right like remember this morning you tried them on and you're like ah, I guess we're strapping back in 
<laughs> I want to get her used to it just a little bit because the Supra is for sure going to have these. I mean, I like it. I feel really But it's secure. cool because like you guys already saw I have this, right? All I have to do is just undo it for both of us, set these to the side, and we can use our regular seatbelts. anywhere and she's like ah, you should have never done that not that this affects me not being able to drive it's mainly the air suspension it's always something <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's part of the game right I guess <laughs> <laughs> remember guys happy wife happy life all right so I thought I'd take you guys along do a little night drive you know we got a roll cage we got the harness like the only thing I'm missing is the damn helmet let's go Oh man, this is not as comfortable as I thought it'd be. Holy shit, it's so tight. We're ready to go. I feel so safe, but I also can't hear anything. How ridiculous do I look in this thing? <laughs> it got like the whole setup. Just to look like my car is fast, but it's actually really slow. drives with a helmet what's up yes I'm wearing a helmet safety first Protect me from all the hoes. <laughs> I'm only wearing this helmet to look fast while going slow. But come on, we gotta play the part, right? Street Arrow would have wanted this. This reminds me of when I was not 18 yet and I had to wear a helmet to some skate parks. Oh god. That concludes our drive. Holy shit. Oh. Jesus Christ. I am never doing that ever again. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will be announcing the giveaway winners shortly. Let me just go inside real quick and we will pick who won. And I kind of have some bad news about the giveaway, but I'll explain that inside, so let's go. Before I announce the giveaway winners, I do have some unfortunate news. For this giveaway, I bought these key shells myself just for you guys, and they messed up my order. Instead of sending me a red and a silver key fob, they sent me three silver ones. How do you mess that up? The good news for you guys, even though it's not the sick-ass red one that I have, you guys now have an extra chance to win because now there's going to be three winners I'm picking instead of the two originally. Three winners. Each one of you is going to get one of these. And we're going to pick right now. All right, let's pick the first winner. Let's see who it is. Let's see who it is. Congrats, Abinash Zivapalan. You are the winner. Winner number one. You are getting one of these beauties right here. Winner number two, come on, who is it, who is it, who is it? Kavi Un, you are the second winner. And the final winner is... Oh, Chiju Kimbab. You are the third winner. I probably butchered all of your names, but you guys will be getting these keys. Look at how amazing they look. So I'm going to be contacting all of you guys via the comments and have you send me an email. And that is pretty much going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will be back.
with more videos real soon. But with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family, and if I don't see you then, eat a lot of good food for me, all right? And don't forget, it's always better to look good than to feel good. Oh, later. Thank you.